Hey folks, time for another Q&A, except this time it's going to be more of the Q I choose and then where to find the A's to the most asked questions that we have. So you may have seen this recently. Uh, I mentioned it in the morning news a couple days ago, but many people all around the world are now seeing this. It's on the Weather Channel talking about the pink aurora. Now, the video they put out was very craftily done. Um, they talk about the fact that the auroras or this crack in the atmosphere, in the magnetic field that lets in the solar particles happens fairly regularly, but they so quickly shift into from that, oh, this happens regularly to the pink aurora that it's really almost impossible watching the video to get it into your head that these pink aurora are not normal and they are not a usual thing at all. And as we mentioned in the morning news, uh, they should be yellow, they should be green, um, maybe some slight hues uh, otherwise, but these vibrant pink auroras, this is caused by the particles penetrating even deeper into the atmosphere. And what they didn't tell you in that video was that this was not a big solar storm. If you watch the channel, you know we haven't had any big solar storms in a little while. And the fact that such a weak, and I do mean weak, minor space weather event could pull such a penetration through the magnetic field and actually impact that layer of the atmosphere to create such vibrantly pink aurora. That's nothing but an indicative sign that our magnetic field is continuing to weaken. It's continuing to do it faster and faster. And these solar particles and other aspects of the solar radiation are penetrating deeper and deeper into the atmosphere. So um, maybe you saw the morning news show and it clicked in your head immediately. Maybe you just saw this thing on the Weather Channel or maybe you're hearing it right here for the first time. But essentially, if you do watch that video, yes, we do get auroras fairly regularly, even when we don't have solar storms. That's not an unusual thing. What is unusual is to see this display. The display, again, was caused by the deeper penetration of those solar particles, which during such a weak space weather event really has to make you ask the question, why did this happen? And the answer is quite clear. Earth's magnetic field continuing to weaken as we have been talking about. Now, I am still getting questions every day. What is happening with the magnetic field? How bad will it get? When will the biggest effects take place? When will things start to get so bad that society has a difficult time moving on? What is the sun going to do? What is the earth going to do? Um, what should we expect in terms of weather, in terms of radiation, earthquakes, volcanoes? All of that stuff is in the Earth Disaster Playlist right below the video in the description box. It's time people start doing their homework. This is not a house for rookies. I do take the time to try to answer questions like this, and every year for the past couple of years, I have gone and remade these disaster videos with the most up-to-date information. This playlist down below the video is all the most recent stuff. There is one question I will answer a bit more fully and not just tell you go watch the playlist. How will we survive? And I will tell you this and I've mentioned it before. We are survivors. It's in our DNA. We are all the children of the children of the children of survivors of the last one and the one before and the one before that. The cultures that appeared to do the best after the last disaster had two things in common. Altitude and underground shelter. Now, this does not mean go, go take a shovel to the top of Mount Everest, but a considerable distance away from the coastlines where the major continental level tsunamis are going to be coming from. And you want to be up high in relative elevation, but you also need something underground. This is not only due to the radiation that's going to be spiking as Earth's magnetic field weakens, but the weather should be pretty extreme as well. That is in terms of the wind, the lightning, the temperature extremes. You do want to have that kind of shelter as well. Uh, and not to mention that it will protect more against major temperature shifts the wind isn't going to blow over something that is built into the ground. So again, playlist below the video. Guys, if you missed the morning show, check out ObserverRanch.com. Big updates there, big things happening, and uh, we'll see you in the morning for the daily show. Be safe, everyone.